Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. So, today is going to be all about DKP or Dragon Kill Points. And the reason I bring this up is I actually get a lot of questions as to how we distribute gear. And so, uh, this is kind of just going to explain uh, how we do our points. And I'm sure every clan does it differently. And every way has some kind of flaw, but I think Aileron really... Like, I have to give him great credit for this system that he set up, and uh, I'm kind of going to give you just an overview of it. It's really deep and complicated how the whole thing works, but uh, maybe I can just simplify it for you guys a bit. So let's get started. Alright, so first thing you're going to want to do is go to Google or whatever search engine you use, and then f you're going to want to go to guildlaunch.com, but in my case, my clan already has a uh, branch basically set up with them. And so I go to clanavalon.com and then I scroll down and it's right here, avalon at guildlaunch.com. So I'll click that. All right, now that I'm in, this is our clan website that Aileron set up. So he kind of gives an introduction right here and uh, signs it and then this is actually the clan trailer that I created and it will show applications over here in the corner and then it will show up here it'll tell you who, who we're recruiting at the moment so up here it kinda shows uh, some more sections over there and the main menu we have the home and then we have the forms and these are the public forms and these are the members forms and then we have gallery and I don't really think there's yeah these are just old photos set up here but anyway I will show you uh, once you've made an account and you log in then uh, you have to be accepted into the, to the guild by your chieftain and so I will log into my account and show you guys kinda where I'm at alright as you can see I am now logged in up here. Gives me the login, logout options. So I'll kind of scroll down here a bit. And it gives me a couple more options over here on the side. It even shows my clanmates' birthdays. And it also gives me privileges as far as I'm a clansman because I was accepted into the guild. And so, yeah, we'll kind of get started with that. Over here we have calendar, raid tracker, gallery, and whatnot. I'll, I'll go to the clan roster to kind of show you guys. Alright, so basically, what's going on here is it lists every single account that's in the clan, including alts, uh, and it labels them as clansman, chieftain, alt, recruit, clansman, or uh, guardian, and we do not have generals though. Uh, we only have like three or four active guards, I think, and uh, I'll kind of get to that in a minute. Alright, so we made it into the raid tracker. So the raid tracker is where all the actual DK point, DKP points are, <clears throat> and right over here is kind of the click option, and you can see you can switch between different pools. So a pool is basically a group of points dedicated to a certain uh, boss or bosses. Like for example, this one's cumulative EP, which is the it it's kind of more complicated on this one because it combines like all of your main raid points from Proteus and Gelibron but also like lower raid pools such as uh, default which is like dry exalted dragon lord bosses and like mordris and effenstein and all that will siphon like a certain percentage of points into this pool uh, to increase uh, the points in it so that basically all around uh, if you help with all bosses then you'll get a ton of points in this pool and that's event bosses that's dragon lord bosses mordris and all that kind of stuff but the thing is, is the only thing that, that's charged to this pool, like, that costs from this pool, is uh, royal and up Gelebron items, excluding weapons. So, uh, or Proteus. So, what you have down here is three sets of points. <clears throat> so you got your effort, your gear, and your priority. So, your effort points over here in the green are like, every time you attend a boss you get a certain amount of effort points. And then gear points, you automatically are set at 50. <clears throat> so say you join the clan, uh, you'll be just slapped right at 50 gear points. 
And then your priority points are your effort points divided by gear points. So the reason uh, this works out really well is so your effort points, the higher they are, the better. But everything decays at a certain percentage over time. So if you quit raiding, then eventually your effort points will go to zero and your gear points will stay at 50. Or, uh, so like, see how these people have higher gear points? Higher gear points is actually not what you want. But so like, say if you claim an item and I uh, say if an item costs like 150 gear points, then your gear points will go up to like 200 from from 50. And that way, effort divided by gear points. Now your priority points are lower, which means the next guy that's going to claim something now has higher priority points to get an item over you because you already claimed something. But your gear points will slowly uh, decay over time, back down to 50, so you'll have high priority again. And like I think if I go down to yeah, see me right here. So. I have 14,090 effort points, and I, I claimed a whole bunch of stuff, including my Void Dagger, so it charged me a ton of points right there. And so I have to wait for this to decay over time, but uh, so my I have really low priority points. So like say if an, a rogue wants a bracelet that drops from Proteus, then there's a high chance he's going to get it over me because uh, I spent my points on a dagger, I, so my gear points are really high. But eventually those will decay over time and I'll have high priority again. Right, so when we come down here to my name real quick, I can click on it. And it brings me into my uh, sort of just page here on guild launch and it shows me my efforts, my effort, my gear, my priority, my when my last trade was, and my attendance. And then down here it actually shows a history of all of the of, uh, items I've claimed, when I claimed them, and the gear cost. So and then down here it shows my raid history. The date, the points earned. And say if I click over here, I can click on this, then I can come down here and it tells me the price of it and the class and when it dropped and even show some kind of uh, chart right here so yeah there's a whole bunch to it go back here yeah so these are just it shows all the items that I've claimed and so and one thing that's cool also is over here it's like you can see right here in the last uh, 43 raids, I attended 98%, which is, I uh, was at 42. So, and then the one before that, uh, the last 81 raids, I was at 78 of them. So I've only missed two raids in the last 81. And uh, so this kind of gauges and tells you how active somebody is. And it also uh, helps to distribute certain items, such as Dock Ghoul or rare items like Void, void Weapons, is that's one thing that went into the fact of me getting my void weapon is is how active I am and so uh, yeah every, it shows and then down here below is say people that uh, are kind of fizzled off or not very active or not the level to help out with Gelebron and Proteus will be down here so basically they have lower effort points and they have not uh, reached the minimum uh, of 3500 effort in order to get into the eligible to claim items bracket up here and so like say since there's there's a couple of different pools uh, like the high royal and up items are in the cumulative pool and then in the lower pool the default pool is the one that's mainly just uh, dragonlord bosses six star banes and uh, like mordris and uh, harangner and all that so basically in that pool is like kind of just lower end stuff and uh, it's charged to that pool so like majestic and mighty tier stuff so say if you're at, Gel at Gelebron a uh, majestic ring of ice blast drops a majestic aetheric ring of ice blast drops from Gelebron then uh, it that way uh, somebody who's trying to wait for like say a void wand of shards uh, 
they'll be like, oh, well, I can claim this item because it's not going to affect my higher pool that's actually towards Gelebron weapons. So that way the lower tiered items are actually claimed and used and they don't go to the bank. Unless they're just crap items that nobody wants to use anyway. And uh, main accounts are, are generally first unless uh, <clears throat> under special circumstances. And uh, there's also an upgrade progress. So if a dark... Uh, totem of touch drops then uh, what's gonna happen is uh, you'll be charged points for that so your gear points down here will go up but it will also give you priority for an upgrade so say if a shadow totem drops of touch uh, right afterwards then uh, you have the priority no, ma no matter what your points are to upgrade to that item but anybody else that also has a dark totem also has to do it also has priority as well and so then it goes to the points and uh, the points are basically funded according to whatever decay is left and then they're charged accordingly to uh, whoever wins so this way it it completely eliminates arguments so like say if uh, someone can look at if someone's like hey you know I feel like I deserve that or I want this then they can come in here and look you know you've got this percent attendance and that's why you only have this amount of effort points and so your priority points and it's just undeniable it's so you can't really fight over it and so there's no reason to fight over it and so this uh, it's it there's like maybe small flaws or anything but it's actually very works very well but the only downside to this system is the fact that Aileron has to track raids and uh, give points weekly for uh, everybody in the pools. <clears throat> and then if an item drops, he does the math and goes through all of the rules. And he has several other rules that I won't really go over, but like uh, godly items is is kind of just one that's just general. <clears throat> like say if you're offline, like say like for me, I'm 98% attendance, and I go to raid after raid after raid, and say if my points are at the very top and uh, suddenly a godly blood ring drops uh, which is like one of the items the like the item that I really wish I could have and that was the one raid that I missed then all of a sudden somebody else gets it and it, you know it just sucks for me and so in order to fix that any godly items that drop will be announced in the chat and not dispersed directly right after the raid unless someone is just already just on top so that way since I was offline I can request to go after the ring and uh, then after like two days aileron does the points and, and sees who uh, is eligible for it and whoever has the highest wins and then got the ring so then I would get the ring so that's kinda how he he runs things like that's one rule example but there's kind of like exceptions in certain ways and like armor armor doesn't cost anything so it's basically you few the highest effort points is what they go off of for like Doc Ghoul and they did it with the Exalted Dragon Ar Lord armor as well. And so the reason for that is uh, so that you want to spend your points on jewelry and all that and, and your attendance is what mainly judges how much it will help. So like saying with Doc Ghoul, like if you look over like Raved has really high effort points because she helps out with a ton of stuff, but she has full Doc Ghoul. So Aileron can look here, he can see, wow, she's got a ton of effort points, she's got 93% att overall attendance, you know, so therefore Doc Ghoul on her would be a great option because you would see it used everywhere, therefore benefiting the whole of the clan. And then once you get it, it's kind of a, uh, you just kind of owe it to yourself and your clan to show up and be at bosses even if uh, you've acquired the item you want. So yeah this is kind of just a basic uh, overview of it. There's a, still a lot more to it but uh, also like I won't really show in there but over here there's banked DKP items and event uh, DKP. So like with event DKP uh, everything's tracked but uh, it's only for a certain event so every event what happens is people are loaned items and uh, at the end of the event all of the items are listed in the bank that had dropped from that event boss and whoever has the most points it starts at the top and it goes through a round robin and so every person gets to claim according to what they see in the bank 
And uh, so say if you were very uh, active at the beginning of the event and you borrowed like a godly frost iron dagger, then at the end of the event someone else was way more active than you were during the event, then they get to claim that dagger and you so you have to mail the dagger to that person. And so that way, uh, if you go to an event boss and oh crap, you know, you missed it, you, uh, a certain item dropped and someone else got it. That way, everybody has basically is rewarded according to how hard they work. And and with the clan bank, say if everything's put into the bank, then uh, it's mailed to the clan bank, and uh, all of those items are listed on the website. So you'll see a list of just like you'll be scrolling down, and you'll see a list of all of the banked items that we have. And if you would like an item, and then you mail aileron. And if he, you're eligible for it, then he will melt back and he'll charge you the gear points for it on whatever pool uh, the, he basically puts you in. And then the guards kind of help out a little bit with keeping attendance and dispersing event items. Like Blue Star will, do, will help out a lot with that. But yeah, Aileron really keeps track of everything and he does a really good job. And that's why one reason he's very highly respected in the clan because uh, he, without him, Ava just wouldn't be Ava. There's actually a few people like that that are in the clan. Blue Star, Sane Wen. But yeah, that's kind of the gist of the points. Alright, well thanks for watching guys. I hope that kind of explained things. Uh, is a little bit as to how the points work. And I know that a lot of people in the clan uh, don't even know how that works as well. And uh, they just kind of go with the where the wind blows them in that, that way. Just They just trust Aileron and know that he's doing the right thing. And, I've never seen him once uh, do something in someone's favor or to uh, favor one of his alts in a certain way. He's always done things very fairly and I trust him completely and I think that's a big part in that system working. So I hope you guys uh, like the video and uh, if you want to help me out I want to probably do some kind of uh, giveaway like plaid giveaway or, or something like that. So, uh, if you could kind of help donate and uh, I could get around to that. So, thanks guys. Have a good one.